Joseph Thompson was originally from Ireland. I don't know when he came to the United States, but I would say probably around 1910 with his wife Ada. And he built quite a few houses, larger, smaller. All in Monrovia? All in, well, outside of Monrovia, but many, many in Monrovia. For example, he built the longtime residence of John and Amelia Bartle at 701 East Foothill, the northeast corner of Shamrock and Foothill. It's a, a massive stone fireplace and a broad front porch. 1911, I believe, is when Joe Thompson built that. He also built in the colonial revival style, as well as the craftsman style. At one point, he and his wife's family were living north of me on South Ivy. I don't think Joe Thompson built the house, but they did live in it at one point. He also built my childhood home at 216 May Avenue. This interesting story there. Margaret Chase was the original owner. She had a daughter who had some psychological issues. And the original house originally, I was told, this was hearsay, had window screens on the windows that fastened on the inside so the daughter would not be able to climb through a window and fall. I mean, if she was suicidal, that would prevent her using a second story window in a, in a suicide attempt. Colonial revival in style, symmetrical. Two large bedrooms on the second floor. Living room, dining room, kitchen on the ground floor. Margaret Chase died before the house was completed. And her son, who was the executor of her estate, told Joe Thompson to go ahead and finish the construction. When the house was finished, the story I received was there was not enough money in the estate to pay Joe Thompson. So he took over the house and lived there with his family and added two bedrooms onto the rear of the property. I don't think they moved there right away. I think Margaret Chase might have died about 1924, 23 or 24. By the mid twenties, they were living there and they lived there for quite a while. When we moved there in 1952, I can remember my dad referencing Joe Thompson as being the builder of the house, so he knew about it. Probably knew Joe Thompson for his work from the time the Thompson family lived immediately north of my dad on South Ivy. I'm trying to think of other houses he built. He might have built the Colonial Revival at 176 North Ivy. None others come to mind right away, but he was very active locally as a building contractor. And his craftsmanship was good. He was a good, solid builder.